Meghan's credibility sensationally questioned after closest Kate Hammer's Duchess down with new proof. Meghan Markle's credibility was sensationally questioned at the Court of Appeal yesterday after bombshell new evidence was submitted by one of her closest former aides. The Duchess of Sussex's ex-head of communications has claimed she did cooperate with the authors of Meg's book Finding Freedom, despite numerous denials. Meghan Markle's former aide who accused her of bullying has given a witness statement against her to a UK tabloid, raising the stakes in a major court appeal. She won an emphatic victory in February and told the world of the newspaper's illegal and dehumanizing practices in a triumphant statement. The evidence of Jason Knauf allegedly shows Meghan's account is materially false and raises questions about her credibility, the appeal hearing was told. Lawyers want to use his statement as they bid to overturn a high court ruling that publication of extracts of a letter Meghan wrote to her dad was a breach of copyright. Further new evidence allegedly shows that Thomas sent Meghan several affectionate texts when he could not make her and Prince Harry's wedding in May 2018 due to a heart attack, the court was told. Mr. Knauf was Harry's communications secretary for four years from February 2015, and Meghan's following the pair's marriage. It later emerged he reported claims of bullying made by staff against Meghan to palace top brass. The claims are vigorously denied by Meghan. Mr. Knauf still works for Prince William and Kate. Mr. Caldicott said the new evidence from Knauf could have changed the judge's original ruling. He added, the claimant's pleaded case can be seen to be materially false in important respect by reference to contemporaneous documents. In written submissions to the High Court hearing in February, Justin Rushbrook QC, for Meghan, said, the claimant and her husband did not collaborate with the authors on the book, nor were they interviewed for it, nor did they provide photographs. The Court of Appeal was told Mr. Markle sent Meghan affectionate texts prior to her wedding. Mr. Caldicott read out, on 11th of May, Thank you I am getting excited it's all so close now I can't wait to walk you down the aisle. Then we get an apology about paparazzi photographs that is accepted by Prince Harry. Then 16th of May, surgery when OK heart attack did some damage the doctor won't allow me to fly so sorry I can't come, love you and wish you the best of everything. Mr. Caldicott added, this is a completely different picture to the picture presented by the People article, never called, never texted, just ignored her. Andrew Caldicott QC for the mail on Sunday, told the court that Meghan's letter to her father was crafted specifically with possibility of public consumption in mind. And he claimed Knauf will contradict her claim she never cooperated with Finding Freedom authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand. Meghan is opposing Mr. Knauf's statement being introduced and has written a 23-page response. Mr. Caldicott told the court. The claimant expressly denied any such cooperation in her pleaded case with one minor exception. That is now contradicted evidence of Mr. Knauf. That fundamental point turns out to be false on new evidence. The letter was crafted specifically with the possibility of public consumption in mind because the claimant appreciated Mr. Markle might disclose it to media. That nuance position was not before the judge. Meghan's legal team are opposing the appeal and argue the high court judge reached the right conclusions on evidence before him. The publisher's appeal is being heard over three days.